attempt two billion plus one. <laughs> All right, welcome to our demonstration video. If we toggle the rightmost switch, we go into image bypass mode. Here, the data is being written straight to our full buffer and does not go through our image processing type or pipeline. Toggling the down engages the pipeline. Our first filter is an identity filter and does not modify the image. However, our second filter, uh, with the second toggle switch, is the Sobel edge detection filter. You see around the edge of Giacomo, it is highlighted. Our third filter, it's a blurring filter. If you get close in on the details of his face, you can see that they are blurred when I engage this filter. The opposite is true if I use the sharpening filter. Here, we are sharpening the detail and the noise that is present in the image. Uh, now we're going to show some examples to show that our digital image processor works uh, in many different scenarios. So here is a picture of some sailboats in a river. Uh, the top left image is simply a pass-through image. Uh, in the top right, uh, it's a sharpened image, so all the edges are more pronounced. Uh, in the bottom left, it's a blurred photo. Um, whereas in the bottom right, we're using edge detection, so you can see the outlines of the sailboat and the buildings in the background. Our next example is the Jenga building in CAS here at BU. Uh, you can see that the sharpened image in the top right is a lot, has the outlines a lot more defined than the pass-through image on the top left, or and especially the, the blurred image in the bottom left. Whereas in the bottom right, we can see the edge detection picture where you can see the outlines of all the buildings, the poles, and uh, anything that's in the picture. Our last example is a picture of Joe Biden in an ice cream cone eating an ice cream cone. So in the top left, which is the sharpened image, you can really see the texture of the ice cream cone. Whereas in uh, the pass-through image in the top left or the blurred image, it kind of just seems like a, a white shape. Uh, and on the edge detection picture in the bottom right, you can really see how his tie stands out. Uh, as well as the shape of the ice cream cone or the hand. Thanks for watching this video from the Squirrely Undergrads, Giacomo, Mitch, and Will. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And if you're interested in the code, uh, it's in the GitHub is in the description. Thank you.